You are not going to believe what brand new Pokemon card product I literally just found. Let's go ahead and see what it is. What's good everybody, Darkle here back at it again with another video. But in today's video everybody, we are opening up a brand new Pokemon card product, which actually released on Friday. But ladies and gentlemen, I did not know anything about the release of this product. But yes, it is a Pokemon Detective Pikachu related product, which is kind of surprising because I literally thought all of Detective Pikachu stuff was done and over with. So are you guys ready to see the product that I have for today's video? Let me just go ahead and show y'all and stop the suspense right now. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Detective Pikachu on the case figure collection box. So this box essentially comes with the figure booster packs and promos. So let me go ahead and take a better look at it. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right in front of me, we got the box on deck, and it comes with four promo cards. Here is a fun fact about these promo cards right here. The Snubble, the Psyduck, the Pikachu, the Bulbasaur. These are all promo cards from GameStop, Target, Walmart, and Toys... Wait, was it Toys R Us? I forgot the fourth store, but these are basically like the in-store promos that they released. You feel me? And it all comes in this collection box. There is one major difference between these promos and then the promos that you get in store. These promos actually have a stamped Detective Pikachu logo on the promo card itself, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And then obviously we get two booster packs. It looks like we got Burning Shadows and Sudden Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon has finally not inserted an XY pack in a Sun and Moon product. That is a miracle. And then obviously we got two Detective Pikachu packs as well as a very cute figure of Detective Pikachu himself. But ladies and gentlemen, I was really surprised when I saw this product because why are they still making Detective Pikachu products, bro? The set is only 18 cards. Like we have had enough of this set but do not get me wrong i love seeing brand new pokemon card products because that just means that they still care about making pokemon tcg products so if you guys do want to pause the video and read the description right there you guys may but it basically just tells you everything that comes within this box now the best part about this box is it was 19.99 the bad part about this box is it only comes with two regular packs and then it comes with two Detective Pikachu packs. So we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. Let's try to get this video to at least 750 likes, my guy. Y'all already know we can do it because we are the ghoul army. And also, if you are new, subscribe to the channel and welcome to the ghoul army. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag... Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see on the screen. But aside from this box, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually also going to be opening up all of these booster packs of Unified Minds. Now, all eight of these booster packs actually came from an ETB, just so you guys get a quick little visual of how the pulls are going to be completely random. But alrighty guys, let me go ahead and crack this bad boy open. One thing I really love about these Detective Pikachu products is the packaging. They did a fantastic job in the packaging. But alrighty guys, let me open this up. Alrighty guys, so I got the box open and first things first, we got the promo cards as well as the code card itself. So check this out. We got ourselves the very cute and adorable little Bulbasaur promo card right here. It is indeed a promo card, Sun and Moon 198. And next up, we got this Snubble. That it looks like it's tired of your crap and it is ready 
to throw down, you feel me? Like, just look at Snubble. It's not having it today, you feel me? That is a mood right there. Hashtag real life mood, hands down. And then we got the Psyduck, the complete opposite of Snubble. Guys, how are you feeling today? Are you a Snubble or are you a Psyduck? Let me know in the comments down below. Your boy, I'm a Psyduck 100% right now because I am just extremely happy about this brand new Pokemon card product. But finally, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Detective Pikachu promo card with the little magnifying glass. That is just so adorable, man. Just look how cute that is. I freaking loved the movie. I loved everything about, you know, everything revolving around Detective Pikachu. It was just absolutely perfect. But check that out, guys. We got four promo cards of the brand new Detective Pikachu movie or the recently released Detective Pikachu movie, I should say. But check that out, guys. We got all four of them. And I believe Detective Pikachu is actually available on Blu-ray and DVD. So best believe your boy is going to be copying that as well. But next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got this little figure of Detective Pikachu. Just look how cute. Oh, my God. It is standing on a little magnifying glass, bro. That is so adorable. I can't right now. Just look at that. Look at that, and it even has detail where you can see, like, the fur of Pikachu. It's not like a naked mouse. It's It literally got fur. But look at that. I love this. I love the little magnifying glass and everything. The attention to detail in all of these, you know, Pokemon TCG products for Detective Pikachu is just absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. That is 10 out of 10 figure quality right there. But alrighty guys, as much as I want to admire that figure, we got to get into the booster packs. We got two regular packs and we got three Detective Pikachu booster packs right there. And then obviously we got the code card that you guys can obviously have as well. So I believe we're going to go ahead and get rid of these Detective Pikachu packs because I already have a completed set of Detective Pikachu, so I don't really need these booster packs. Usually when I have sealed packs of Detective Pikachu, I use those as extras to throw in my eBay products that I sell and whatnot. So here is the code card right there. I'm pretty sure most people already have a completed set of this little mini set, so check that out, guys. Ooh, that is a good one to get. You can never get too many Charizards, my guy. And we got the Charmander and Charizard to pair together. So I am actually going to go ahead and sleeve up this Charizard because it's literally a Charizard, bro. That at least deserves some respect and some recognition or else you're going to see all the Charizard fans in the comment section going bananas. Literally. But alrighty, guys, we got the Charizard as the star of the show up first and let us see what else we can get the main two cards that i don't mind getting you know more copies of from this set is obviously going to be the mewtwo holographic as well as the charizard you can never have too many mewtwo's or charizards my guy but we got ourselves the slacking rare holographic and like i said every single card from this detective pikachu set is holla graphic you feel me so you can always expect to get holographics from this set no matter what you are guaranteed in every single card from each pack Ooh, like i said i do not mind getting the charizard and the mewtwo check that out now i don't believe any of these detective pikachu you know cards have any value anymore the charizard might but I don't think anything else does. If it does have a value of over a dollar, I will be putting it on the screen. But if it doesn't, then you guys have your answer right there. But check that out, guys. We got the two most cards that I always want from Detective Pikachu. It's the Charizard and the Mewtwo himself. The legend himself, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. That is a cool looking card right there. I absolutely loved it the Mewtwo from the movie. It was spot on in my opinion. I know some people might not agree with that, but like I said, everyone's entitled to their own opinions and I absolutely loved it. So we got the new star of the show on deck and now we're gonna jump into the Sun and Moon boosters and this Burning Shadows. Here is a little fun fact. There is a very expensive Secret Rare Charizard in this set 
that is worth over $200. Yeah, you heard that right, bro. Cardboard that is worth over $200. Yup, that is what it comes down to now. That is why everybody wants to open up Burning Shadows. And every time somebody gets an opportunity to open up Burning Shadows, that is the card they want the most. So we're going to go ahead and open up this Sun and Moon base set first. But if you get a green code in Sun and Moon base, you get absolutely nothing. But we did get a very nice double colorless energy, which is always nice to get because it's a double colorless energy, bro. What is there not to like? But it all comes down to this final pack for this $20 collection box. Let's see if it's worth it. Honestly, you should only get this box. Never mind. As I say that, we get this, everybody. Every Pokemon collector or everybody that opens up Pokemon cards, this right here is our worst nightmare. Seeing this green code just breaks our dreams. You feel me? It just crushes our souls. And you just want to be in your room locked up crying every time you see this color code, bro. I know that's the feeling I get, but I don't know if everybody else gets that or if it's just me. So we're going to go ahead and toss that to the side. And unfortunately, we got absolutely nothing. So as I was saying, guys, you should only buy this box if you want all four of the promos and for this very adorable Pikachu figure and the second or the third reason i should say keep it sealed bro it looks absolutely gorgeous when it's sealed my guy so i might actually cop another one just to keep it sealed and display it because i'm not gonna lie it actually looks really good when it's sealed and up on a shelf because that's how they had it at my local game store but alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into these Unify Minds booster packs because I'm not gonna lie, the pool ratios from the Detective Pikachu box, they were depressing, like really, really depressing. So here is Unified Minds and let's see if we can get something, at least something from all of these booster packs. We got eight booster packs in total, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. These are all from an ETB of Unified Minds. So the pool ratios, we're either going to get a ton of bangers or we're going to get a lot of duds like we are doing right now. But it's all good. We're not going to lose hope just yet. We at least need one pool to make up for this entire opening, my guy. And this might be it. Let's see. Let us see. One, two, three, four. Toss those to the front and let us see what we got ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves the lapras with the misty in the background we got the murkrow the alolan grimer the hoot hoot talon flame and then we got the age of slash holographic the good part is i actually don't own this one yet i don't think we've ever pulled an age of slash holographic yet so that is actually not too bad right there and honestly this is a random note but I honestly thought that Age of Slash was going to be like one of the main mascots or an important Pokemon in Sword and Shield. I don't know. It just looks like Age of Slash should have some sort of significance in those games because it's literally a sword and shield, my guy. Like literally, it's a sword and shield. It's holding a sword and it's holding a shield. That is what the Pokemon is based off of. So here is the next pack right there. And let us hope that we get a couple bangers right here. So we got the Noctowl and the Misty towards the back, and we got four packs left. So we are halfway through this ETB that we are opening up additionally. We got the Darkrai, Deoxys, Garchomp, and Mewtwo. We basically got one of each artwork. Which one is gonna have the banger, ladies and gentlemen? Y'all already know which one I'm gonna choose. The Mewtwo and Mew. We're gonna save that one for last and just open up everything else as it should be. So we got ourselves a nice, decently beautiful white coat right there in the Dark Ride Booster Pack. But does it hold something amazing or does it hold a holographic? We are about to find out in a few seconds. So we got ourselves the Joltik. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I know a lot of people don't talk about Joltik like that, but I fell in love the first time I saw it. We got the Fungus. And we got the Magnezone Holographic. So we got two hollows. We're hitting the hollows hard, literally. Like, we got over 10 holographics because of the Detective Pikachu packs. 
So, I'm getting kind of worried now, but it's all good. I'll keep it in the inside, and I will not let it show just yet, because don't count us out yet! We got three packs left, and you never know. We might get a banger in every single pack that is left. This is an ETB. The pool ratios are completely random, so like I said, you never know what you're going to get. We got ourselves the Rylu, the Purloin, the another cute little adorable Jotic that I absolutely love. We got the Yuxi, and the next card is the Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Why do I feel like we keep pulling this card? We literally pulled this card yesterday, and now we pulled it today. But hey, I ain't tripping. This isn't like your average cheap tag team GX. This one actually has some sort of value to it. So let's go ahead and put that as the star of the show. Y'all already know the drill. The ultra rares, they take down the holographics in a flash. Unless the holographic is like a base set Charizard or an old school vibe then it might be a tie or the holographic might win but we got two packs left we got the Mewtwo and Mew which I am saving for last so I hope that I saved the best for last if not then I literally just played myself by always choosing a pack to save to open up last basically so here is the next pack right there and that one was of Garchomp and Giratina. So it all comes down to this pack right here, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Mewtwo and Mew. What does it contain? That is the real question. What is inside this booster pack? We're about to find out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a moment of silence for this green code right here because it literally just crushed my hopes and dreams. Amen. Thank you. But guys, we got an innocent little green coat. It's not the green coat's fault, my guy. It's not their fault. They can't just make every single booster pack a white coat. We have to get green coats at some point. We can't just be getting white coat after white coat after white coat after white coat. It does not work like that. If that was the case, then these cards, they wouldn't be rare. So that's why we get green coats and white coats at the same time but it's all good because we at least got something and that's all i wanted out of an etb and a figure collection i at least wanted something to show for my guy so we got ourselves the umbreon in dark ride as the star of the show and as our only pool of the video unfortunately it, it pains me to say that but it is what it is but on top of that ladies and gentlemen we got all of these holographics we got a dce a charizard a mewtwo and all of these detective pikachu holographics right here literally every single one is a hollow but then we got these four exclusive detective pikachu promo cards right here check that out we got snubble psyduck bulbasaur and pikachu himself so what do you guys think about this product like i said i told you my thoughts in the video i actually do really enjoy this product because it looks like a beautiful display product and not to mention that it comes with this cute little detective pikachu figure that is literally standing on a magnifying glass that is absolutely golden so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you guys smash that like button and let me know you enjoyed the video in the comments down below and i'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.